Welcome everyone to Universe Media. Today, we just got done watching the Hawkeye episode three. We're already halfway through the series. That's crazy. But uh, another great installment of this series. It was um, about the villain. Yeah, this continued on from last time where Clint and Kate got arrested by the not arrested, that's not the right word. They got captured. They got kidnapped, captured willingly. Well uh, Hawkeye technically got Hawkeye kidnapped. Did. But he wanted them to kidnap. He wanted them to but anyway. Uh, then at the end of that we got a little snapshot of the big bad. Not really the big big bad, but one of the big bads. Uh, which was Echo who is deaf, cannot hear anything, so we can say whatever we want. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, start of this episode, we get a backstory of how you know, Echo and her relationship with her hearing and how she's coped through it through her life. And, the, and why she hates Rowan. Yes, her uh, life got ruined by Ronan. <laughs> because know. he killed her dad. Yeah, so, which her dad was... You know, the he helped her go through learning martial arts, and that's kind of the backstory of how she, you know, was able to kick butt in this episode. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, so, Hawkeye and Kate are sitting there on those little kitty ride things, that, and the uh, the tracksuit gang, the tracksuit mafia. Uh, just keeps putting quarters in and having a grand old time watching them go wee. But uh, eventually, Echo comes in, wants to interrogate. You know which one of these is Ronan, who is who, and a little bit of a issue there, as we know Hawkeye has a hearing aid, and so she thought that he could do sign language, but uh, that's not the point. Or he can't. That's not the case. He can do some, but not all. Some, because we call back to I believe what episode two, to where episode two. his son was doing some sign language, so he may know some from his son. Uh, so eventually, Echo does not like the idea that neither one of these is Ronan, even though Hawkeye is. But he doesn't tell but her he that. But he tells her that Black Widow killed him. Which is technically true because if it wasn't for Black Widow, Ronan would probably still be around killing bad guys. Or good guys or bad. I don't know. Who knows who we killed? Uh, but eventually, Echo gets mad, tries to kill Kate, and Hawkeye escapes. Eventually, Echo catches up with him. She kicks his hearing aid out and crushes it. And so, for most of this episode, Hawkeye he can't, hear can't hear anything, he just hears ringing. And as someone who has slight ringing in his ears constantly, that would be annoying as crap. <laughs> and Kate tries to talk to him like he knows what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually we get this cool scene in the car as they escape. The hot wire car, not the Challenger, not the nice Challenger, they get the old... Except for it does crash. So they do this cool scene. Hawkeye can't hear a thing. He's just driving on. Have a nice Sunday drive. No, that's not how he was. He was going like doing stunts and stuff. It was, it was crazy. Gotta watch and it. Kate was just using trick arrows that she didn't know what did what they did. So it's kind of like uh, throwing a pokeball that you don't know what Pokemon is in there. Oh, wow, that's cool. Or wow, that sucks. <laughs> like the the plunger just stuck to the windshield of that car and okay. uh, the cool one is when the van blew up yeah then uh, the one that brought all the Christmas trees and all together but eventually they escape by using a pin arrow which assuming that is Hank Pym's arrow that causes things to get big or small and unfortunately for the uh, jumpsuit hero or villains whoever they are uh, the tracksuit mafia. Okay, why are they not the bros? 
company. You have a van that says Trusty Bro. Trust the Bro Moving Company. Trust Which me, I bro. wouldn't trust them. They suck trust at it. Trust me, bro. <laughs> they suck uh, at so it. So this arrow, Kate throws a regular arrow in the sky. Hawkeye hits it with the Pym arrow, makes it giant, crashes down on everybody. But I don't think there's any casualties or anything, but it looked cool and helped them And escape. it crushed a uh, truck. And the Challenger was destroyed as well as we talked about. So. Rest in peace, Challenger. This is probably the saddest death in Marvel history. Are you okay? Okay, I'm over it. All right. <laughs> So they go to get the hearing egg, hearing egg, hearing egg fixed. Well, first they go get Lucky to take him on a walk. Yeah, that's the important thing. Yeah, that's the important uh, thing. What would a hearing egg be? It's the egg that can hear you. But they went and got it fixed, and then we was in this diner. Yeah, and we get a little bit of backstory on, on a little bit of Ronan, a little bit of Hawkeye, and a little bit of Kate. <laughs> so. Um, Learn a bit, a little bit more there, and eventually they get the idea of going to uh, Kate's mom's house to go through the security files as she owns a security business to find out if anybody is involved with the jumpsuit, tracksuit heroes, or villains, mafia, whatever. Uh, why is it so hard to remember? <laughs> Just idiots. So eventually. Yeah, this can't be idiots. Right They're now. idiots with a cool ball. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel kicked by. <laughs> uh, so, eventually, Hawkeye hears something, which is crazy, right? Half the episode, he couldn't hear anything. Uh, and now he heard something that Kate didn't hear. Uh, Kate tries to look up Jack on the computer, and it locked her up. Is he hiding something? Of course, he is. Anyway, uh, Hawkeye goes to investigate, and then his old sword flies out, and it's Jack. The other idiot. <laughs> the villain. The idiot with the mustache. And so that is where episode three leaves us off. Where will we see this series go for the remaining other half of the series? Will we see some... You know, it's hinted that Kingpin is showing up soon, and that's who everybody's working they, for. I think they showed his hand. Yeah, they, uh, they showed his hand. Kingpin hand reveal! Because <laughs> that echoes Uncle. Yeah, so it seems like uh, in all these series you get this big build up to the big bad, and it's someone that we already know and have seen in the series before. So is Kingpin actually Jack? But it'd be uh, He'd, a twist. Well, Jack's working for Kingpin. That's that's a thing as well. What if Kingpin doesn't exist at all? <laughs> what if Kingpin is Mephisto? Have you ever thought about that? Have you seen Kingpin and Mephisto in the same room together? No. What if Lucky is Mephisto? Ever thought about that? But all right. you did get a cute scene of it. Lucky smiling at the name Pizza Dog. And that is something Mephisto would do. Keep your eyes peeled, everybody, for Mephisto. He's out there. He's it working. would be cool just to see Lucky kick someone's butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, really enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to seeing where episode four goes with this. Will Jack turn out to be a good guy and team up with him to take down tracksuit, jumpsuit people? The idiots. Or will he be a part of the tracksuit mafia. Which he acts like him. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so, a lot of interesting questions that we're now asking and we cannot get answered for at least another week. So, hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next week for our episode 4 review.